So twin slugger Nelson Cruz turned 39 years old in the middle of the 2019 regular season. There were only four active Major League Baseball players with more life experience than Nelson. Fernando Rodney, Albert Pujols, Rich Hill, and Eric Kratz were older than Cruz during his 2019 campaign. That's it. Kratz ended up being DFA'd by the Rays at the end of May and signed a minor league deal with the Yankees shortly after. So technically speaking, Cruz was the fourth oldest American League player when he turned 39 years of age in the middle of 2019. Sorry, Nelson. There's a pretty negative connotation surrounding age in baseball. It's a young man's sport, or so we've been told. Nelson Cruz is living proof that even on the brink of your 40s, you can still be one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. This man is putting up Hall of Fame caliber numbers 23 years before his social security checks start to roll in, and that's pretty impressive. How impressive? Well, let's talk about it. It's not just the home runs, and now another ball drilled into the corner. And another run scoring without a home run. Cruz digs for second. Now, if you were to randomly turn on MLB Network a hundred times over the past couple seasons, you'd probably hear them talking about Mike Trout around 56 times, Cody Bellinger about 21 times, Christian Yelich 22 times, and that only leaves one time for Nelson Cruz. To pull one out of Sadman's book here, that makes me pretty sad. Now, where exactly did I get these stats from? Well, to be honest, I just pulled them right out of my behind, but I think they're pretty accurate in Nelson's case. He just isn't as appreciated as he should be. You want to know how good 38-year-old Nelson Cruz was in 2019? Hold on a second, let me tell you, jeez. So WRC Plus is my go-to offensive metric to measure offensive output. It's an improved take on the runs created stat, which quantifies a player's ability to get on base and hit for extra bases. And now the plus on the end just means that it's normalized across ballparks and eras, so everybody's on a level playing field. Here are the top 5 hitters last year in that department according to Fangraphs. And yeah, that's not a glitch. 38-year-old Nelson Cruz was a more productive hitter than the National League MVP by WRC Plus standards, only bested by the likes of Mike Trout, Christian Yelich, and that other guy. There were also no shortage of Nelson Cruz home runs in 2019. 41 homers and 108 RBI for the Twin Slugger ranks him in a tie for 7th and 16th, respectively. Now, do you really think I'd smear Nelson like that by putting stats in here that place him that low on the leaderboard? Well, clearly you're underestimating my love for Nelson. There's, of course, a catch. He makes the catch! No, not that type of catch. Cruz only played in 120 games in 2020. That makes the home run and RBI numbers I showed you before look even crazier. So now... Let's look at the 162 game paces for each of these hitters. So I've done the math. If each of these players played 162 games with a similar amount of plate appearances per game as before, these would be your top 5 home run leaders. And just like that, Nelson Cruz is now tied with Christian Yelich atop the home run standings. He'd also be leading the major leagues in RBI. No big deal. For what's supposed to be a young man's game, you'd think that this geezer hitting 41 homers last year would have gotten some more news coverage but it seems like Nelson's going to have to hit 42 homers to get their attention. Now what about his season in the context of baseball history? Nelson Cruz is pretty old by baseball standards. No offense, Nelson. But history? Well, history's even older. You know, it would be pretty cool if we could see where his 2019 season ranked in history among people his age. Oh, thanks baseball reference. So Cruz turned 39 in the middle of the 2019 season, so I'm just going to compare his season to other 38-year-old players in history, as that's how old he was when the season began. Among qualifying 38-year-old ballplayers in the history of the game, he ranks third all-time in slugging percentage behind only Barry Bonds and Ted Williams. Now, slugging percentage isn't the best stat to compare the seasons for these three guys. They each played in completely different eras, and I think this actually says more about Ted Williams in his time, but it's still cool to see for Nelson's case too. Now a better stat to use here is OPS+, which helps us compare players across all eras. Cruz's 2019 season ranked him 6th all-time for an age 38-er, only behind the likes of Ted Williams, Barry Bonds, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, and Bob Johnson. I don't know of another site that lets us make comparisons like these, otherwise I would have compared a different metric, probably WRC Plus again. And yeah, I guess I could have really gotten in the mud and did some manual labor to find those kinds of stats, but I just don't have the time. I mean, just look at where my time is spent these days. You know what, I did forget about eating and showering, so I guess I'll have to make these videos shorter. Simply put, Nelson Cruz was one of the greatest 38-year-old sluggers ever. You know, it's funny you use the term slugger, Matt. I think that's an interesting way to describe somebody like Nelson Cruz. And I just don't think his case is as black and white as you'd think. As long as he has, has found that out to be his adjustment. He goes upstairs to strike him out. Foul tip. 
Now, even though Cruz breaks the typical slugger stereotype in some ways, he does fall in line with the rest in terms of striking out. Using baseball savant to look at some strikeout rates, nobody's touching Chris Davis and Joey Gallo, but if you go down to the 99th spot, you can see that 2019 Nelson Cruz struck out once every four at-bats. According to Fangraph's standard, that's a poor strikeout rate, and only one tier above awful. Shame on you, Nelson. While Cruz does strike out quite a bit, he does draw a lot of walks. He walked around 10.8 times every 100 plate appearances in 2019, and taking another look at the Fangraph standard, that's above average. Good job, Nelson. Now his walk rate raises an interesting point. Sluggers are known to have high walk rates because pitchers like to pitch around them. But Nelson Cruz plays for the Minnesota Twins. The 2019 Twins happen to be one of the biggest offensive powerhouses in the history of baseball. Easy outs in that lineup are hard to come by, especially when Cruz is hitting right in the middle of it. So I don't think 2019 Cruz was pitched around as much as a typical slugger would be, even though he had a better season than the typical slugger. My point is, I think we can assume that the kind of historic lineup protection that Cruz was getting from his teammates in 2019 at least somewhat offsets the stereotypical high walk rate that's easy for any slugger to come by. I think that helps Cruz's case here. He also happens to hit for high average, which sets him apart from your typical slugger, too. You want my list of three things to never do in baseball? Well, I don't care, you're getting it anyway. Number one, never make the final out at third base. Number two, never piss off Amir Garrett. And number three, don't ever, 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 never, ever, I'm serious, ever stand in front of a Nelson Cruz batted ball. You want to know why? Because you'll die if you do. A drive to left, and there goes another one on an 0-2 pitch into the third deck. My goodness, is Nelson Cruz on fire? Thanks to a similar stature to a wall of concrete, Cruz is able to destroy baseballs with ease. He's an absolute unit. I mean, just look, I had trouble fitting his shoulders into the thumbnail. There's a pretty well-known guy in the United States right now who frequently refers to the top one percenters. Now, I'm going to do the smart thing and keep this video politically neutral and pretend somebody else said it instead. I'm going to stick with the Dominican theme of this and my next video and go with former Washington National Bernie Castro, who didn't homer once in his two-year Major League career. He seems like the polar opposite of our very own Nelson Cruz, so he seems like the right choice in this case. Now, Cruz fits this top 1%er mold, but not in terms of wealth, but rather how hard he hits the baseball. Well, I guess in terms of wealth, too. You know what they say, banks dig the long ball. After taking a look at some StatCast data from Baseball Savant, you start to feel bad for the baseballs that Nelson Cruz hits out of sight. He happens to be in the 99th percentile in terms of exit velocity and hard hit percentage. Taking a look at average exit velocity, Nelson Cruz has been a top one percenter every StatCast eligible season. He hits the ball very, very hard. And Bernie Castro? Well, he's not happy about it. The f you say to me, you little s Now let's shift gears to hard hit percentage. This stat represents the rate at which balls a hitter puts in play have an exit velocity at or above 95 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's hitting a baseball at about three quarters the speed of a tornado. Oh my god, it's a tornado! And it's coming this way! We gotta run! Well, hang on guys, it might just be the Tasmanian devil. In case you didn't know, it's pretty fast. Cruz's balls are really feeling the burn. There were like three jokes in that one sentence. Nelson Cruz finished third in Major League Baseball only behind Aaron Judge and teammate Miguel Sano for hard hit percentage in 2019. In terms of ranking percentages, Cruz was in the Bernie zone in 2016 and 2019, and in the top 3% or higher in 2015, 2017, and 2018. Yes, Matt, these numbers are great, but what's the moral of the story? Moral of the story? Nelson Cruz knows how to crush a baseball. Deep drive right field, Granderson giving ground, boom, stick baby, another home run! Now I know his age 38 season is the main focus of this video, but he was doing great things before 2019. He's been one of the American League's best hitters for a few years now, and it's worth talking about. Here are some of his American League ranks since 2015. Now, he did have a down year in 2018, so I didn't include those stats in this video. You think I'm actually going to slander Nelson in this video? That's ridiculous. Now back to 2019. I did mention at the beginning of this video that Cruz put up some Hall of Fame caliber numbers this past season, and I think it's time I back that up. We're going to use our good friend WRC Plus again here and compare Nelson Cruz's 2019 to some baseball legends. On your screen now, you can see nine Hall of Famers. Oh, I'm sorry, eight. With that kind of WRC Plus, I thought Nelson would have been in Cooperstown by now. 
So I'll admit, this leaderboard is a bit misleading without the proper context. Cruz's WRC Plus is just from one season, that being 2019, whereas the rest are the career WRC Pluses of the eight highest ranked Hall of Famers in that category. Now is this the greatest comparison in the world? Not really, but it's not a terrible one either. The point is, Cruz's 2019 season is on par with the career numbers of the top hitters in the history of baseball. And for a 38-year-old hitter getting minimal news coverage, that's not too bad, huh? In conclusion, Nelson Cruz, well, he's a madman. He's older than he's ever been. Well, that's obvious. And he's better than he's ever been. And I'm going to stop you before you head to the comment section if you haven't already done so, reminding me that he was suspended for using PEDs in 2013. Yes, my memory is completely fine, thank you for asking. The only thing I'll say on the matter is that I did think about that a lot before making this video. I know that's not much of a direct answer, but that's all I'll say on the matter. Regardless of his past, though, Nelson Cruz is today one of the most underrated and fun hitters to watch in baseball, and I cannot wait to see how long he's slugging baseballs for. Thanks to the DH, I'm sure it'll be for a while, and now that we don't have to see him do this anymore, I hope this video ends any Nelson Cruz slander for the rest of eternity. I'd like to personally thank Joshua Amato, Brian Hanrahan, and Piazza Fan for sponsoring this video. They're all YouTube members supporting the channel and videos just like this one. Thanks a ton, guys. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching this far. Try your best and stay out of the way of a Nelson Cruz batted ball, and I'll see you next time.